guys it is about 8 30 i've been up for about an hour already i just finished my uh fasted cardio um my knees hurt so bad they just feel super inflamed and um you guys don't probably know but when i was living in new york i fell going up the stairs trying to catch the train and both my knees were impacted on the concrete stairs so ever since that I've had really bad knees. I went through physical therapy and everything and it didn't really help and then I did some stuff with Taz when we first met and um, it helped a little bit and then my knee pain just kind of went away. I started squatting again, I was doing everything normal. But now they just hurt a lot. I feel like my body is really feeling everything that I'm doing to it now. So like they just really hurt, they're really sore and like they feel really inflamed and Whatever, maybe I'll uh, ice them before we go to the gym. But Taz is still sleeping. He said he felt a little sick last night, like it tickled his throat. And I th um, this morning, I believe I felt him get up and take some medicine because he wasn't feeling well. So hopefully he feels better because we're a week and a half out. <laughs> the plan for today is just getting work done. It's stuff that we have to do and uh, that's it. I just wanted to come on and say hi and oh I did want to say something I did want to uh, show you guys what I'm eating today because my diet changed on Sunday and ever since Sunday my weight has gone up a pound and it's not I'm not worried or anything but I just want to show you guys what I'm eating in this meal plan because I've kind of been showing you every meal plan since I started so I just wanted to keep that going so today will be a full day of eating I actually enjoy this meal plan very much there's a lot of carbs in it so yeah um i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you next about time. an hour later it's time for breakfast i went to go wake him up and i just kind of stayed there because my knees hurt so bad so <laughs> but we're up and it's time for breakfast and it's the usual breakfast so it's just the half cup of egg whites and half a cup of oats and my coffee and the macros for this is 30 carbs 18 protein and three fat and that's it and this is how much water I've had so far. I know all I have to drink is a gallon, so I'm doing pretty good. And yeah, that's it. So come back with some updates later because I've made a decision, but I'm not gonna talk about it until I finish breakfast because I don't want it to get cold. Okay, bye. Hey guys, it is 12.42 and I've just been in front of my computer just working all morning. Haven't eaten anything. I'm just having a little bit more coffee, which is pretty much gone. But I mentioned that I, I made a decision during breakfast and that decision is that i'm not working out today like i said my first clip my knees are giving me a lot a lot a lot of pain <laughs> like they're 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 hating me right now so i decided to take today as a rest day and just start again tomorrow just for my knees to get some rest um because they hurt a lot and i know that i probably would not have a good workout because today's leg day and this just would not be good. So what I'm doing is I'm taking today off, starting again tomorrow, and going up until Saturday. Because usually I rest Saturday and Sunday, but this week I'm just going to rest on Sunday. I also did want to mention something else. I don't know how to like really talk about this without sounding... I don't even know the word for it. But I, I am overwhelmed by all the love and support from my challenge, this, uh, this challenge. Because... Um, let me paint you a picture. So on Sunday, I was editing a video, my phone was charging, and I was just focused on the video, and I wasn't really checking emails or anything, and then I had my Periscope at 8, and in around 7.45, I grabbed my phone so I can start inviting um, the girls and the guys from my challenge, and all of a sudden, I checked my email first just because, um, make sure that I'm not missing anything, and all of a sudden, I see... Um, a bunch of emails from PayPal saying that you've received some money, you received some money, you received some money. And I was like, very, like very confused. And all of a sudden I start opening up and I realized that it's the challenge girls sending me like five bucks, 10 bucks, because I mentioned in my last video that, you know, I, that nationals is $325 just to register and, you know, plus the tanning and everything else that goes into it but and i don't really necessarily have that money just to throw out so apparently what they did is they created like a secret group and they all decided to send me a couple bucks just so that together and collectively 
they can send me to nationals. So I wanted to show you guys. Like I started crying, like severely crying. Like I could not contain myself. Taz comes over and he's like, why are you crying? It sounds like you're dying. And I was just so overwhelmed by the thought that you know, they put into this just to help me out. Like, I don't feel worthy of that, I guess. And just to have all the support from all of them just literally, literally blew my mind because I, I wish I had a camera so you guys can see because it looked like somebody broke my heart. I was like dying and I periscoped them and in tears and they were just all so excited and I just can't say thank you enough to them. So to all of you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, this is what they were saying, like, send you me to nationals. Um, we're going to nationals. Operation send you me to nationals. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you rock that stage. Oh, they're just so freaking kind. Like, what? This is just, I just, every time I think about it, I just want to cry because they're just so amazing. Sorry, I'm reading this again. Like, I just, they're so amazing. I just, I can't. I just can't. And so, and I just wanted to say thank you again because without you guys, without every single one of you, I would not be able to do all of this. So thank you so much. People think that if you have a large following on Instagram, you're pretty much made. That's not true. I don't have a bunch of money. Everything that I've done to compete has been me trying to go the cheapest route. Like my bikini, I think, cost me $275. I got my shoes from Amazon. Um, I do my own makeup because I can't afford a makeup artist. And I think I, I like my makeup. So I'm not going to spend my money on that. My jewelry, I didn't buy jewelry. That's actually jewelry from my last pageant when I used to do pageants. So everything I've been doing, I've been trying to save because I just can't afford it. And it's something that I've been wanting to do and i just didn't want to let money get in the way so like i don't have a bunch of sponsors like sponsoring me give sending me bikinis i don't have that i don't have you know a meal prep company that sends me my food i don't have which is i'm not saying that's a bad thing i'm just saying that i don't have it as good in the money department you know i'm just very grateful for for all of them so thank you guys so much i'm going to come back on when i eat and bleaker is just sleeping on my lap <laughs> I love her. All right, I'm done blabbing. It's been six minutes. So I will see you guys in the next clip. Okay, it's time for my next meal. And this is also a favorite because it has carbs. <laughs> and it's just half a cup of brown rice, some chicken, four ounces of chicken, and a cup of broccoli. I typically don't reheat the food on the stove. I just put it in the microwave and just eat it. But today I wanted the crispy rice that I used to make. So I just put it on the stove and crisp up the rice. And the macros for this is 27 carbs, 27 protein, and three fat. So that's my meal. I'm just back in my office. I'm gonna eat and work at the same time because we've got lots to do. All right, guys, see you later. What was that? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> is that on the video? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. But anyway, came to make my next up. meal, and so she made this. Do you wanna explain what it is again? It's a pretzel crust, she said. Pretzel crust. Pretzel crust. Yeah. Brownie batter. Brownie batter. White chocolate chips, milk chocolate chips, and heath bar. Oh, we're not eating any of that. I'm going to make. Show them the monkey bread in there. Oh, there's monkey bread. I had no idea. Really? It's s'mores monkey oh, bread. Oh, it's s'mores monkey and bread. And cinnamon roll. And cinnamon. Bread. My two favorite things. Yeah. How interesting. Holy fuck. They look so delicious, don't they? I think I'm gonna put chocolate. Wow, those small. Oh my god, that all looks so good. I'm so sad right now. I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like when it's done because it looks really good. But I'm going to have my third meal, third meal, which is my favorite meal, and I'll show you when I'm done. Bye. It's done. Oh, these are the s'mores ones, and these are the thin ones. I have one right now. I would have one right now when no, it's warm. I just wanna, no, I just want to take it out and see how it works. I will have one right now. <laughs> you are? Really? Yeah. I dare you. I'm going to count it. All right. Look at that. I would devour all of this. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, that looks so good. What is, what is that? It's just brownie. It looks like fudge. Right? All right. What, what what's what's happening here? What what are you He's doing? Why them. are you touching them? <laughs> I'll take my chances. 
<gasps> hot. I'm reading today. Wow. That was not a good bite because it was literally just dough. Nothing else on it. Here's my meal. Just kidding. This is my meal. It's what I have every day. And the mac. 45 carbs, 36 protein, and 24 fat. There's almonds in here, olive oil, and then all the veggies and the fish. And that's it. 7.30 and I just got done doing my second round of cardio for the day. I, I know I said I was taking the day off and taking it as a rest day, but I did want to complete my cardio and not make it a complete rest day. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm going to have my second meal now, or my fourth meal now, right before I shower because I have to shower and wash my hair. And that's going to take me a little bit, so by the time I'm done, I'm probably going to eat my last meal. So this meal is very simple, still yummy, still tasty, and it is chicken and broccoli and the mac bigger can i help you yes <laughs> okay what i was saying the macros for this is five carbs 24 protein and two fat four ounces of chicken and a cup of broccoli and some brownie and, and no no brownies here bread. and yeah that's it so i'm gonna eat this shower and i'll see you guys in a little bit it's 9 20 and uh, it's time for the last meal. And this meal gets me very happy because it's the very same thing as my breakfast. Half a cup of egg whites and half a cup of oats. But for these, for these oats, I make it more dessert-y. So I put some Walden Farm pancake syrup and then I add the chocolate dip that we found this past weekend. And the macros for this is 30 carbs, three fat and 18 protein. And my macros for the entire day, 136 carbs, 123 protein, and 35 fat. So there you go. It, so there you go. Uh, you know? So, so, there, you go. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, but for real, uh, this is my Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, my third day on this meal plan. And I'm checking in with Michelle tomorrow, just with my weight to see how I've been progressing. But I think I'm probably just going to wake up. 138 or 139 just because I didn't work out today. I did do my cardio, but yeah I'm thinking that this will be the last day I have all these carbs Since we will be one week away on Saturday, so I'm not gonna end the video just yet. I'm going to actually Oh, she fell on bleaker. Are you okay, poopy? It's okay. Don't go to my feet um, I will check in with you guys tomorrow just to let you guys know how I woke up and then I'll end it there so I'll see you guys in the morning. She Good night. Wants hey. Be good. All right. Good night. Bye. And it's like almost 12. And I haven't vlogged this morning since my weigh in. But I did want to end the video here to get it up tonight for you guys and then start again vlogging or whatever for our next video. So just wanted to say that you saw my weigh in it was like 140 which is fine and um sent that to michelle and she gave me a new meal plan and i have to check in again on friday my check-in days have changed to friday now because i will be competing at nationals on a friday so that's our new like check-in day to see the week or whatever so that's what's happening a new meal plan let me know if you guys want that if you guys want to see it it's very similar but if you guys want to see it i'll do it and i also wanted to say that i decided on a title for the series for nationals and i was going through all the comments and you guys were so creative and i loved all of them a lot of you guys said that i should implement my name into miami and it's actually funny that you said that because they do that all the time people were saying yeah miami but i actually just say miami like miami it's very simple like my name fits in miami but I'm not gonna use that. A lot of you were saying like, yeah, Miami or uh, yeah, me, my, I don't know what it was, but it was really funny. Nobody actually said Miami, which is what I say. So I spell it out M-Y hyphen Y-A-M-I, Miami. Um, but I'm not even gonna use that. But anyway, I decided to use one that I really thought was good. A lot of them were saying like coming full circle or where it all started, but I didn't start competing in Miami. I didn't have i didn't really have a fitness lifestyle in miami so it wouldn't be like full circle it wouldn't be like tying it all in it's not that but it is 
me going home and I do want to bring the trophy home so I decided to go with bringing it home and that was from Sarah Freerix I'll put it on the screen because I'm not sure if I pronounced it right but thank you so much for that title I love it I think it encompasses what I want to do I am going home and I want to bring it home so I love it I think I might just do like bring it home road to nationals or something like that so Again, Sarah, thank you so much. And thank you to all of you who uh, gave me your suggestions. I love them all and I wish I could pick them all, but unfortunately I can only pick one. So that's it. I'm gonna end the video right here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you have not already. It does help me out a ton. And I will see you guys in the next one. This is a pretty eyeshadow. It's not super overwhelming. And then I'm gonna take that brush that I used first and then just blend away.